Welcome back to our channel, Fast Cabling. Today in this video, we are venturing in the great outdoors to explore the seamless connection of an outdoor switch with fiber optic cable. Imagine extending your network across challenging terrains with the speed and reliability of fiber optics. So get ready to conquer connectivity barriers and let's dive into the tutorial and learn how to connect an outdoor switch with fiber optic cable. So the demand for outdoor fiber connectivity arises from the unique advantages that fiber optic cables bring to challenging outdoor environments. Fiber optics offer unparalleled speed, reliability, and resilience, making them an ideal choice for demanding outdoor setting. Unlike traditional copper cables, fiber optics are immune to electromagnetic interference, ensuring consistent performance even in environments with high levels of electrical noise. So outdoor switches play a crucial role in extending network connectivity to outdoor locations, bridging the gap between indoor and outdoor networking requirements. And these specialized switches are designed to withstand the challenging environmental conditions. They are typically weatherproof, offering protection against moisture, dust, and extreme temperatures. And they often come equipped with recognized enclosure to ensure resilience in a harsher outdoor environment. And these switches facilitate the extension of network infrastructure to outdoor spaces, enabling the deployment of devices such as outdoor cameras, access points, and other network equipment in a reliable and secure manner. And when selecting fiber optic cable for outdoor connectivity, it is crucial to consider several factors to ensure optimal performance and durability in challenging environments. First, assess the cable types, choosing between single mode and multi mode based on your specific requirement. Single mode fiber is suitable for long distance transmission, while multi mode is ideal for shorter distances. Pay attention to connectors as they ensure a secure and reliable connection. And common outdoor connectors, including LC, SC, and ST, each with its advantages in terms of ease of use and performance. And for outdoor use, offer cables with robust jackets designed to withstand harsh weather conditions. An outdoor rated fiber optic cable often features protective layers that guard against moisture penetration and resist damage from exposure to sunlight and temperature extremes. So now we're in front of the demonstration board and we are going to do a connection using our outdoor PoE switch with SFP. Now this is an extremely reliable networking system for outdoor high power demand application with highly flexibility on connection. It is an economic fiber optic networking device, can supply up to 10 kilometers fiber optical network between point A and point B. And also it is IP67 waterproof rating and vandal proof rugged metal housing. The working temperature range is from minus 30 degrees up to 60 degrees. We also have the four port L2 layer managed PoE switch available. Now this switch has powerful traffic management and QoS feature, offer MAC addressing filtering and VLAN capabilities so you can segregate network and remote access to ports. And here is our indoor compact media converter. Now it is a practical device to finish fiber to ethernet signal conversion in a distance up to 10 kilometers fiber optic network system. And the mini design can fit into a challenge space to realize more flexible installation. But since today we are going to set up an outdoor application, that's why we are going to use this one. This is our hardened grade 
outdoor fiber PoE media converter. By adding this device, you are able to set up IP devices over kilometers with fiber optic cable without concern about bad weather due to its IP67 waterproof rated and hardened grade design. And also, it comes with a wide range operating temperature from minus 20 degrees up to 60 degrees and carry a great electrical protection to against lightning and other power surge. And it also has a special mounting tool so you can mount it on a dim reel. I'm going to show you later in the connection. And today we are going to connect to a bullet camera and a wireless access point. So let's do the connection together. First, I'm going to use a short patch cord to connect our router to the NVR. Since we're displaying the video footage from the bullet camera, and it's already connected to the monitor. Now I'm going to use another Ethernet cable to connect the router to our media converter. This is a special mounting tool, so you can mount it on a DIN reel wherever you like. Plug it into the media converters, just like this. Over this side, we are going to plug in the SFP transceiver. We'll need this because this is where we connect with the fiber optic cable. So I'm going to plug it into the fiber optic cable. This is our four string pre-made fiber optic cable. And now I'm going to use string A. It has letter on each string since it's pre-made so we don't need to worry about the connector. So let's plug it in here. Here we go. And then we are going to power it up. This is the power supply. Just like this. And the power indicator lights are on. I took out the neck and the gland for easy installation. But for outdoor application, make sure you fasten the neck and the gland tightly. Coming over here, we have a 300 meters fiber optic cable. We're going to do the exact same thing in the outdoor PoE switch. Plug in the SFP transceiver. This is string A. Let's plug it in here. And to the SFP slot. And it is already powered up. So I'm going to plug in two Ethernet cable since we're connecting to two IP devices. Those are the PoE port. Connect with the bullet camera first. And as you can see, the indicated light of the wireless access point is already on. So now it's getting the power and both the data. Let's go back to our monitor to look at our video feed. Here we go. It needs a little bit of time to adjust the focus, but still I can wave my hand so you can see this is a live video. So the whole connection is done now. So before deploying fiber optic connection in outdoor environment, you should begin by employing outdoor rated enclosures, especially designed to shield fiber optic connections from the elements to provide a protective barrier against moisture, dust, and other environmental factors that can compromise signal integrity. Additionally, use protective boots and covers over connectors to prevent water increase. In regions with extreme weather conditions such as heavy rainfall or temperature variation, it is crucial to implement robust weatherproofing measures. And this might involve burying the fiber optic cable below the frost line to prevent damage from freezing temperature or using conduits to shield the cables from direct exposure. So congratulations, you've just mastered the art of connecting an outdoor switch with fiber optic cable. And thank you very much for joining us today. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more tech tutorial. And enjoy the seamless outdoor connectivity with fiber optics.